If I'm completely honest, I am not the best person at keeping my bikes clean. I tend to ride them until the chains are creaking and screaming and it sounds like the sinking Titanic. But in this video, I'm going to talk about why I started cleaning my bikes and specifically the chain and why you should too now. Welcome back Pathos Peddlers. And if you're into the non-competitive side of cycling, riding party pace, you have found your people, hit that subscribe button. When it comes to keeping my bikes clean, I'm I suck. I'm terrible at it. Don't do it. And oftentimes one of the main reasons people give you to keep your bike clean is because it adds five watts. Five watts which I don't really care about. However, I've completely changed my tune and I'm cleaning my bikes and it's not because of any performance gain. It's because of, I think, the impending chain shortage. When COVID first started, I did a video on expendables you should stock up on like toilet paper. And at the time people laughed and thought I was over exaggerating. Here we are, it's 2021. People are still waiting for their bikes. Um, model releases are being skipped or won't show up until 22 or 23 even. So just saying. And I wanna be clear, the point of this video isn't to cause a panic for people to start hoarding parts. That's totally not what I hope this video does, but it is to hopefully inspire you to maintain the bikes that you have for as long as you can because parts availability is gonna be a little bit sketchy for a while. We know that Shimano, one of the largest component manufacturers, has had to shut down factories because of COVID. We've also heard from other sources that to source some parts, it's 700 days out. That's almost two years, guys. <clears throat> We've heard of bike shops with a stockpile of bikes that they can't assemble because they're missing one part, or the bike shops themselves having to buy parts at full retail on Amazon or on eBay just to complete customer builds. I, for one, don't think this is gonna go away anytime soon. So seeing what I've seen and hearing kind of the, the chatter amongst the bike shops, uh, I have decided to be proactive and actually wash my bikes, in particular the drivetrain. If you don't do it very often or if you've not done it ever before, this is a great time to start. Just saying. This isn't going to be a full-on tutorial on how to wash your bike. There are other YouTube channels that do a much better job than that. It can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be, but I think washing your bike a little is infinitely better than not washing your bike at all uh, in, in this day and age. And if you're going to wash one thing on your bike and want to leave the rest of it dirty, definitely focus on the drivetrain. That's what I'm doing. I'm actually not doing the entire bike, just the chain, the cassette, and the crank set. You could do it on the cheap with a pair of buckets from the hardware store, some dishwasher soap, and some cleaning brushes used to uh, clean the kitchen or even your toilet. The point is to just do it. In my recent come to Jesus moment in terms of cleaning my bikes, I, I did pick up a few bike specific things so I thought I'd share with you how they're working out. The first thing I picked up, which uh, I highly recommend, is this chain cleaner from Park Tool. So it's got a little handle here, this pops open and you can fill this with water or degreaser or a mix of uh, water and Dawn to get the gunk off. There's a sponge, a bunch of rollers, and basically it does a really good job at getting your chain clean. It's not a necessity. You could do something similar by putting your bike on the stand and running the chain backwards with a brush. But if you look at the layout of these brushes, it does get it from the sides and the bottom. And in my experience, it does a really good job at it. So if you do get one bike specific cleaning device, uh, it should be this one. While I was at the local REI, I also picked up this three brush kit from Muckoff. It comes with this big kind of soft brush, which is meant for the frame and this smaller detailing brush with tougher bristles uh, that you would use to clean the pulley and the cassette and the chain ring or run it along the chain, as well as this cassette specific tool these really stiff brush brushes so you can really get into the drivetrain parts. My honest opinion of this three brush set is that the big brush is a nice to have, but you could probably uh, do something similar with just a nice sponge. This little guy works pretty well. I do wish that the handle was a little bit longer. And I do find this one probably the most useful in terms of getting a gunk off of pulleys and the cassette. These bristles are just really stiff, which is a, a good quality to have when you're trying to get the gunk off. If you've never done it before, the general process, again, in very large strokes here, is to one, clean the chain with either degreaser or soapy water. And while you're cleaning the chain, also cleaning uh, your chain rings, as well as the cassettes and the pulleys on your rear derailleur. Give it a good rinse, then a good dry, either using a shop towel, a sponge, or if you've got one, an air compressor to get the water out of all the nicks and crannies. When it's sufficiently dry, then you wanna re-lube the chain and run it through the gears so everything is nice and clean and 
well lubricated. A lot of people use bike specific degreasers. Some people say that something like Dawn and water is just fine. There's actually an interesting article in Bicycling that addressed this. And the gist was degreaser is good, but it's a little too aggressive and may actually cause your chain to wear uh, quicker. And the mechanic in that interview actually just recommended Dawn as something in between where it will get the gunk out, but won't be so aggressive that it'll wear down your drivetrain. For me, I like to split the difference. If I'm cleaning a bike that I haven't touched in a long time and it's really gunky, that initial wash, I will use a bike specific degreaser, but subsequent washes after that, I'll just use Dawn and water. How frequent you should do this is probably up to your OCD. I know Rides of Japan says he does it once every big ride. So once a week, it sounds like. I probably won't do it as frequently, maybe once every two weeks, unless it's a really heavy riding week and there's just lots of gunk there. But for me personally, I'm gonna to try to do it at least once a month. So what do you guys think? Are you super anal about cleaning your bike? Has the knowledge of the impending uh, parts apocalypse uh, changed your mind about cleaning your bike? Again, don't hoard, but maintain what you got. That's the whole point of this video. Hope this was helpful. If you're curious about the products, there are affiliate links that helps out the channel. These buckets of cleaning supplies uh, were not sponsored. We bought this with our own money. So if you appreciate that, want to help out the channel, you know, check out the affiliate links or buy a sticker or better yet, join us on Patreon where you get lots of cool perks and can keep the channel going. So as always, everybody stay safe and keep the supple side down.